Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Janet and I create videos for all things creative and handmade. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a simple pair of elastic waistband shorts using an existing pair of shorts, like this, and turning them into this. So if you're ready, come join me at my sewing machine. I started off by piecing paper together with tape to create my pattern. It isn't necessary and you can lay your shorts directly on the fabric to cut it out, but if you plan on making multiple pieces, creating a pattern is just the way to go. First, I folded the shorts in half, front side out, back side together. Pull the inseam out where it meets in the middle at the crotch and straighten the fabric out so you have an exact size to cut. You'll draw a line around where the shorts are laid out, about two inches if you want to create more room to fit in them, and about one inch if you want an exact fit. Then you'll cut the pattern piece out, cutting on the line you just drew. Next, flip the shorts the other way around with the back side out, front side together. You'll follow the same steps as you did before. You'll now lay your fabric out flat and lay your pattern piece on top. I used a sharpie to draw an outline directly onto the fabric. You can also pin the pattern to the fabric and cut directly next to the pattern piece. At this point, you'll have four total pieces of fabric cut out, two for the front and two for the back. Place each matching piece right side together. The long straight edge will be the side of your shorts, and you'll get to that part later. On the other side, you'll see two smaller curved edges. One is the crotch, and the other is the inseam. The longer curved edge is the inseam, that's the part you'll be sewing together in just a moment. Do the same thing with the other two pieces, matching the edge right sides together. Pin into place if needed. These are the seams you've just sewn. You'll have two pieces now, one is the front and the other is the back side. Now you'll open up the fabric and you'll start seeing the shape of each side. Place the two pieces right sides together. Match up one side and pin or clip into place if needed. Then sew about a quarter inch from the edge from top to bottom. Do this on both sides.
Once you're finished sewing up both sides, place the fabric leg and crotch side up and match the middle seam. Pin or clip into place. You'll match the edge of the fabric all the way across. Then sew a quarter of an inch from the edge from one side to the other. It's now time to create the hem on both legs. You can try the shorts on and pin the fabric into place where you want it to sit lengthwise, or you can do what I did in this example and fold the fabric up about a quarter of an inch two times. Then pin or clip into place. Sew all the way around each leg, sewing the hem into place. Remove this piece on your sewing machine if equipped before you start sewing around the leg. It makes it easier to move the fabric as you're sewing it. Have you sewn anything like this before? Leave a comment below and let me know what you created. I'd love to hear from you. These are the finished hems on each leg. You're almost done. To get a good look at how far you've come, pull the shorts right sides out. The last step is creating the hem on the waist to feed the elastic through, so pull the shorts inside out again. Depending on the size of your elastic, that'll determine how far you'll fold the fabric over when creating the hem. I used half inch elastic for this project. I folded the fabric over about an inch, then pinned it into place before sewing around the perimeter of the fabric. One thing to remember is to leave about an inch or two open to feed the elastic through.
I've almost stitched all the way around the waist. This is where I'm stopping short about an inch from the end to pull the elastic through. You'll need a bobby pin at this point to stick through the end of the elastic. Stick the bobby pin into the hole left on the waistline and feed it all the way through. Once your bobby pin has come out the other side, stretch the fabric so it's not all bunched up and estimate how far you need it stretched to fit around your waist. Remove the bobby pin and stitch the two ends of elastic together, back stitching so it stays together. Now clip the excess elastic and let it go inside the fabric. You'll now finish sewing up the waistline where you left the hole to pull the elastic through. You've now completed your elastic waist shorts. Congrats, they look great! In just one evening, I completed sewing two different pairs of shorts. These are so simple and quick to make. Thanks for joining me. If you've liked the content you've watched today, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, give it a thumbs up, and I sure do like some comments. Have a great day.